Good morning, Falcons. On your computers, you want to download and open the zip party file where you will find three tables one, two, three, and two cakes. Open them before you begin. In this assignment, you're going to be creating an image that shows the birthday party that you would dream of, including a table full of food and cake. You're going to begin with a new file. So you're going to take your mouse up to File and click on New. It's going to open up the new file window and from the top we are going to select web because we are using web images to create an image for the internet. Here in web we have many sizes. We're going to go with web large and we would like to select an orientation that is what we call landscape. Your resolution will be 72 and you would like to select a background that is transparent. Click Create. When you open this file, you're going to see the checks that indicate a clear file. These checks do not print. As far as the internet is concerned, it's white. There's just nothing there. However, eventually you're going to want a background. You're going to want to be able to see it. Right now we're just going to make it black by coming to the toolbar and selecting the paint bucket tool. Your paint bucket is probably hiding under the gradient tool. The gradient tool lets you mix colors. We're going to use that a little bit later on but most of you guys have already seen a paint bucket tool before. So select that and select black and fill your screen. Now on the right hand side you want to find your layers window. You're going to see that that layer is completely black. Out of all the tables I'm going to go with the really really big one and I'm going to use the quick select tool and the new select option to select the whole table and I'm going to be very careful to go down the legs and make sure. See over here on the right hand side I only got the top of the leg. I got to click on the bottom to get the whole thing and then I have to make sure that this corner does not you know disappear on me. Once I have the whole table selected on my keyboard I can hold down command C or under edit I can select copy. And then I'm going to go to my new document and paste, edit, paste, or command V. And in my layer window, I'm now going to see that I have two layers. These layers can be rearranged. I did not delete my table. It's simply under the big black sheet. And if I hit my mute button, I can temporarily turn off the black, but not delete it. Let's keep the black underneath. My table's on the top. Not bad. Right? And um, if I choose to do any kind of erasing, so for example, if I'm not happy with the way the image came, it brought some background or something, on my toolbar I could select an eraser and erase. I gotta make sure I'm in the right layer. Edit. Undo. Okay, you try.